Hello everyone, and welcome to my first episode of installing every Ubuntu release. So, in this episode, I'm doing Ubuntu 4.10 Bordy Warthog. The first thing it says to do is press F1 for help, or enter to boot. Then it has language selection, location, and keyboard layout. Then it's gonna detect hardware. Then you enter your host name, and I'm just gonna keep it the default. Then it asks you what you wanna do to partition the disk. So you can manually edit the partition table or just erase the entire disk. Then it wants to confirm. Then it's gonna install the base Ubuntu system. Then it says the first stage of installation is complete, so I'm going to just press enter to reboot it. Alright, now it says welcome to your new Ubuntu system, so I'm just going to press enter. Then time zone configuration. Then it asks for the full name for the new user. Username for the account. Password for the new user. Then it says Ubuntu provides additional software and time and security updates via the internet, and it just uh, wants to make sure that it can do that. Then you want to select the video modes you're going to use. I'm just going to select all of them because I don't know exactly which ones I'm going to end up using. Alright, and now it just says yours, that the setup of your Ubuntu system is complete. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is just enter your username and password. Alright, now uh, this is Ubuntu. So it's cutting off the bottom part, so I need to go change the resolution. Um, let's try 1280 by 1024. That works. Alright, so let's just go through, so desktop preferences, assistive technology support, all that stuff, uh, file management, Palm OS devices. You seem to be running GNOME Pilot for the first time. Alright, Cradle, so the port is Dev Pilot, <laughs> using Serial. I have not used Sync software with this pilot before. Yeah, I don't have um I don't have a Pomodoro device to hot sync, but uh that would be cool. All right, let's go back to computer and let's do screensavers. Oh man. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like when I resize it it messed it up. That's kind of cool. Blue screen of death. But that's a Mac. That's cool.
notice a lot of lag right now. Um, just kind of froze. All right, one entire system crash later, we are back. So, oh, I noticed this is the gnome foot icon instead of an Ubuntu icon. I guess they haven't done that yet. Then you have all this. Lots of games, so... Oh, here we go. Tetris, or no Metris. I'm not the best at Tetris. Alright, internet. Here's Firefox. Alright, I'm gonna go to Google. You have to go to the HTTP version because it can't load HTTPS. And it works. I'm getting a lot of um, certificate warnings. I'm just gonna close that out. Office, word processor, LibreOffice 1.1.2. Oh no, not LibreOffice. It's still Open Office. So, Let's save it. Alright, um, floppy formatter, terminal, of course, about Ubuntu, does not work, that's unfortunate. So that pretty much concludes my Ubuntu 4.10 installation, um, you know, first impressions, so, as Ubuntu says, thank you for watching. Make sure to stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series.